Um, I'm Vanessa Casillas and this is my video walkthrough for problem one of exam two. And so with this problem, we are solving for probabilities. Um, we are given a mu of 350, a standard deviation of 25. And so um, we are going to use this formula to find um, to find our probabilities, which is z equals x minus mu over standard deviation. Um, we've identified our mu, as I said, 350, um, standard deviation as 25, and so we'll, we will use this information for parts A through E. So for part A, um, we are looking for the probability that more than 400 students will be at the next game. And so our x will be 400. We will plug this information into the formula. We get to, and so we look that up on our z table, and we end up with a result of 0 0.997. Um, and we will take take this. We will subtract. We will take one minus 0 0.9772. I realized that I made um, somewhere along the lines. I. Um, wrote down the wrong number. Um, the process is correct. I just made a mistake here. Um, but anyways, this leads us to a result of 0 0.0228. Um, so that is the probability that more than 400 students will be at the next game. And so we will solve now for um, part B, the probability that less than 285 students will be at the next game. We will take 285 minus 350, divide that by 25, and we end up with a result of negative 2.6. That gives us a result of 0 0.0047. And so for part C, this time we're looking for the probability that between 350 and 425 students will go to Pullman for the next game. And so we will identify our x's as 350 and 425, and we will solve these separately in two equations. So for the first, first equation, we will take 350 minus 350 over 25. That gives us zero. But when we look this up on our z table, um, we actually end up with 0.5. Um, so for the second x value, we will take 425 subtract 350 over 25, that will give us three. And that will give us a probability of 0.9987, but we're not done yet. We are looking for this area um, within the distribution between 350 and 425. And so to find that, we will take our answers, we will take the greater value, subtract 0.5, and that will give us a value of 0.4987. Um, so that will give us the prop, and that is the probability that between 350 and 425 students will go to the game. For D, um, we have, we once again have two values, 300 and 325, and we will likewise solve them in two equations. Um, so for the first one, we will take 300 minus 350 over 25, that gives us negative 2. And when we look that up on our z table, that gives us 0 0.0228. Um, for the second equation, we have 325 minus 350 over 25. And that will give us a result of negative 1. When we look that up on our z table, we end up with 0 0.1587. We subtract um, we take the big value and we subtract the smaller value and that will give us our result. Um, and for E, we're looking for um, the probability that, that they will be less than 325 or more than 435 students at the next game. So we are looking for the ends of the distribution. So we will take these values and since we had already solved for 325 up here, right here, um, we, will, we will not be solving that again. Um, we will just be solving 
um, 4 35 first and so we have 4 35 minus 350 divided by 25 that gives us 3.4 and so we are looking and so that gives us a z value of 0.9997 um, and because we are looking for a greater than value, um, because we're looking for more than 300, 435 students at the next game, we will take one, subtract our result, and that leaves us with 0 0.003. Um, and so we will take these values, the value already found for 325 in D, and we will add our new value for 435 and that gives us a result of 0 0.1590.